basic frame and structure of the machine is pretty much the same. Uh, one of the key upgrades, of course, is the engine. So tier four final C7.1 uh, twin turbo. Okay, so uh, giving us 193 net horsepower, uh, about 221 max. So it is the, the horsepower leader in the class as well. A tier four final engine, of course it uses diesel exhaust fluid. It's about 2%, okay? Um, and uh, we, we think that's probably class leading as well. Great access to the uh, to the engine compartment of the machine, serviceability, uh, both sides. It's something that's kind of a hallmark for us. We want to make sure that we've still got awesome uh, engine access to be able to uh, change all your filters, do any type of cleaning or maintenance in here as well. I also had mentioned about the uh, uh, flip-out radiator guard. So a couple bolts pulls that radiator guard out. You can flip the fan down and get uh, great access for cleaning this tractor as well. The torque-based control is where the engine and the, the high-stat hydraulic systems communicate together to provide them the most efficient amount of control and operation. So that gives us a little bit of that extra fuel consumption uh, advantage as well, a little extra efficiency in there as well. Electrohydraulic controls, so uh, you can tune those controls to a fine, a medium, or a fast type of response level. So again, when you're, when you're digging basements, when you're doing that heavy type of work, you want to have that in, the, in that, that fast or that coarse response level that gives you that, that extra speed that you need to get the job done really fast. But then when you get to where you're doing that finishing type of work, uh, or if you're trimming up the edge of that basement wall, you want that fine control because you want that control nice and slow so that you can really control the, the tip of that bucket to the, uh, uh, to, the, to the very, very tiny degrees. New display in the cab, a little more information in there, uh, a little bit easier to navigate. That's kind of been the, the natural progression of displays uh, as, as we move through in the, uh, the tractors as well. So. Um, eco mode on this tractor too. So uh, we've got eco mode on here. It's the it's the green position on the throttle dial. So uh, if you take that throttle dial and you spin it all the way up to the top and come back one click, that puts you into eco mode. And that's very similar to all the other dozers and tractors we have from the K series all the way up to the uh, uh, to the D70. So uh, eco mode reduces that engine RPM. So it takes it from that max 1800 which is lower than it used to be, by the way, 1800s used to be 2000, now we're at 1800, so a little bit lower RPM, a little bit better efficiency there. But Eco Mode takes that 1800 and bumps it down a couple hundred RPM during most of your normal loading activities. Then when you need that extra horsepower, it automatically kicks it up to, to, to that 1800, that full RPM. Once you get done with that heavy work, it automatically will kick it back down. Also includes the auto idle function. So uh, after you dump that load in that truck and you're sitting there waiting for that truck to leave, uh, after a few seconds, it'll automatically idle down again, saving fuel and, uh, and reducing that consumption of the machine.